What's up guys? Today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're at the basement of a brand new Greenland home here today. And I'm gonna run through a couple things down in the basement area, your mechanicals, kind of what the stuff, what's going on down here. So um, first off is first, this is a sump pump. Uh, this keeps all your water away from your basement. All the water will drain underneath your basement. This kicks it out, goes to the city storm sewer right there. So uh, one way to check to make sure it's working, you can unplug the float. It's got two separate plugs, one for the float, one for the motor. Plug it in. If you hear it running, then you know you're good to go. Another thing why this could not be working, it's got a GFCI protected outlet here because it's near water. So you might want to check that, uh, make sure that's not tripped if it's not working. Another thing we got here, radon mitigation system. This is a passive system, not active. Um, radon goes to the place of least resistance. You got concrete all around here. This tube goes into the ground. Radon goes up into the tube and out of the home. If you end up having a problem with that later and you can add a, a blower to this pipe and then it draws the radon out of the home. Probably one of the most important things to know down in your mechanical room is where your water shutoff is. Water shutoffs are main water coming into the house. Typically they have a valve before the meter and after the meter. Um, in case if there's water leaking anywhere in the house, first thing you wanna do is run here and shut that off. Here we got our furnace. So one very important thing as a homeowner to to keep up on maintenance with your home and to have fresh, clean air throughout your home um, is to check your furnace re filter, replace it ever so often. If you have pets or animals, you're gonna wanna replace it more often than not, uh, kind of depending on the type of the thickness of the filter as well also. So to uh, put a new filter in it, first thing you wanna do is just cut the power to the, to the blower motor there and then come around here, pull off this cover, pull the filter out, Important thing is most of the time they'll have arrows on it, which way you want the air to flow through. You always want it drawn towards the furnace. Um, but yeah, it's very important to keep fresh, clean air in your home. Okay, this is our breaker panel and our landing spot for our Wi-Fi. Um, breaker panel, you have an outlet upstairs that's not working. Um, one thing you want to check first is come down here to your panel. Um, they should all be facing in the breakers. If one's faced out like that, it means you know you tripped a breaker. Another thing is they're just starting to put the GFCIs in the breaker panel now. So you might see it trip like that. Any outlets near water, they have to have be GFCI protected. So um, easily if it's tripped like that, flip it back to the off switch, switch and then back on and you should be good to go. This is our landing spot for our Wi-Fi coming into the home. So older homes that have to drill holes through the houses, but nice thing with the Greenland homes and most new homes is they pre-drill the holes in your homes to get the fi either fiber optics cable through that or regular cable um, internet through there. So a nice board here to mount your modem and router too. Yeah. 